have one. I wish I had a second one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the good one. Everybody okay? Great. Steven, we'll make sure it's time. Oh, no, we did. We did. We did. Can you play the Yeah. I'll send them back. Dad, come here. Where are you going? <laughs> Somewhere, nurse. Whose little thing is this? Hold on. Let me make sure it's good. Okay. All right. Let's get open it. Looks like it's good. He's trying. Okay. Let's see. Opa. Everybody cheering? Cheers. 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 Oh, he's going to pour. He's going to pour. Cheers. Hey, yo. Over me. Over me. Over me. All right. Okay. Come on. Get those two. with it. Be seated. Thank you. Well, we made it despite of the weather. Every one of you has a very special place in their hearts and in their lives. And a special thank you to those who came from a great distance to be here today. And for me, there's no greater place. <laughs> we have been on a journey unlike any other from the moment we met. Actually, even before that. A wise ass comment from you led to us getting lost in Grand Central on our first day, which I will insist until my dying day was your call. <laughs> Even though you've been there thousands of times and grew up there. From there, we've been on countless adventures and have never left each other's side. From cheesesteaks in Philly, which you told me you'd eat, but you didn't, which I happily finished for here, to never missing the new hit show on Broadway. 
We had been there for each other from the very beginning, including you helping me through one of the toughest times in my life. I know he's smiling down on me with the sports girl standing next to me. I love you because you make every day better. Your smile brings out the best in everyone, and it is truly irresistible. I love you because you have no idea how beautiful you are, and I love you that you are the most selfless and humble person I've ever met, even to a fall. You not only put up with your voice and never sitting still, I can count on one hand the number of times we've woken up and just stayed in bed past noon. You're not capable of it. You never hesitate to go with the flow and just meet me at the clock. You are prettiest at your goofiest and your funniest at your most serious. I've never met anybody incapable of holding a serious expression for more than five seconds. I promise to always continue exploring with you and trying to make you smile. I promise to uphold the foundation that our parents and our grandparents before them have laid for us. So Sarah, continue this journey with me. Together we can do anything. To summarize Sunny from Bronxdale, my heart is telling me that I found my great one. I love you and will forever. That was awesome. Awesome. All right, Sarah, you're up. <laughs> they say every great love story begins with once upon a time. So once upon a time in a magical kingdom known as Yonkers, <laughs> two years ago, the story of what would become our legacy had only just begun. You took my hand across the table at Rory Dolan's, and I remember how comforting it felt. You looked me in the eyes, and the room stood still. And at that moment, you asked me, what would be one of the most meaningful questions in my life? As we gazed into each other's eyes, you looked at me and said, take this journey with me. The girl who said yes was but a, step, was but a scared, self-doubting girl. But yet, as we stand here today, I confidently express my gratitude for helping me become the woman I am. Having been told I would have been lucky to see 25, I knew the moment of uncertainty. God had bigger plans for us. You see, him and the other angels that we have upstairs were clearly watching over us on that beautiful summer night. As they knew this would not just be a journey, but a lifetime we were about to embark on. F. Scott Fitzgerald once said, I loved her, and that was the beginning of everything. And you are my beginning. A soulmate is someone who locks, who has locks that fit our keys, and keys to fit our locks. And when we feel safe enough to open the locks, our truest selves step out, and we can be completely and honestly who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not what, and not for who we're pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other, no matter what is going wrong around us. With that one person, we're safe in our own paradise. You are that person. You are my soulmate. You are the person who loves me for me. You are the best in me. I love you and I love our paradise. I vow to set sail with you and be your anchor not just through the most beautiful days, but on high tide and rough seas. And when the time finally comes for you to be the captain of our family, the navigator of our ship, I can rest assured knowing we're safe at sea. I promise to never stop loving you as I do today and to carry the warmth of our love through the years over oceans because when I look at you, I see forever. I know in the depth of my soul and the core of my being, God chose us for a reason and for that I couldn't be more grateful. So on this day, Timothy Jason, rather than bowing for the inevitable, I once again promise and secure you that yes, I will take this journey with you. And that was awesome, Sarah. Just awesome. May I have the rings, please? Of an adventure filled with wonder, surprises, tears of laughter, tears of joy, and tears of sorrow. They symbolize my pledge, my love, my, pledge, my, love. my, faithfulness. my faithfulness to you today, to you today. Tomorrow. tomorrow, and always. And always. Sarah, repeat after me. With this ring, With this ring I, pledge I pledge my love 
and faithfulness to you today, tomorrow, and always. Before I pronounce you to um, <clears throat> husband and wife, we're going to do, as you chose, a unity sand ceremony. The significance of this ceremony is not only bringing two people together, but of course it's bringing two sets of friends and two sets of families that we have all shared this evening. Be a source for your married life as husband and wife. May your faith and your trust in each other always be strong. And may your love for one another continue to bring you happiness, filling your lives with companionship and everlasting devotion. In so much as the two of you have agreed to live together in marriage, to pronounce you husband and wife, and you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Jason and Sarah Ann Westerveld. Three. 